Congregations from two local churches are mourning the loss of a priest who died in a car accident yesterday. Devin Clark spoke with one deacon at one of those churches where he served as pastor, and he's live in Dubois to talk about the legacy the priest leaves behind. Devin? Jen, the deacon I spoke to had nothing but nice things to say about Father Robert Kevin Yetzko. They say he was the type of man that was always laughing, and he kind of made you feel like no matter what you were going through, everything was going to be all right. Well, tonight, they are mourning his loss, but they say that they take solace in knowing that he's with the Lord. A hard cross to bear for two Byzantine Catholic Orthodox Church congregations where Father Robert Kevin Yetzko served as pastor. You know, I've been very, very good friends, you know, even for longer than he's been pastor here. Father Bob, as he's affectionately called, died yesterday after trying to drive around a curve on Route 36. He went off the road, hitting a ditch. Those who knew him are shocked at this sudden loss. They say his body may be gone, but he leaves behind a legacy that will not die. He encouraged me in my vocation, and uh, you know, as soon as I was ordained to the diaconate, he, he grabbed me up right away and put me to service. Father Bob has been with the Holy Trinity Byzantine Church, where Deacon Lucas Crawford serves for about a year. But his legacy extends beyond. He also served at the Nativity of the Mother of God Church in Dubois and was ordained as a Franciscan priest some 30 years ago. His interactions over the past 30 years with the people that I've only met just within the past year have been incredible. And his spreading of the gospel through his example has been very, very meaningful to the people here, even though he's only been our pastor for one year. A year that Deacon Crawford says has been inspiring, one that will be remembered for many more years to come. Um, I know that he touched a lot of lives within our parish and also in the Dubois parish. Now, the date and time of Father Bob's funeral has not been set yet, but the deacon that I spoke to says that they plan to have it at the Franciscan Friary in Loretto, where he's from. Reporting live in Dubois, Devin Clark, 6 News.